Lincoln, you a sight for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses, and you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to them? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls him his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. I hear it was Merle's idea to take over Perlis and turn... into that, that place. He thought it'd be funny. Laveau told me you'd be coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. This fucking asshole. Afternoon, miss. Shit.
I forgot. He was born and raised here, too. Mm-hmm. Fourth generation. And I'm serious. That place Mike went to was the best. They made it to fade just like my mama. I bet her gumbo was good, too, huh? Oh, boy. Huh? Her gumbo... You can't hide from me, boy. Red beans Boys, do scares we will find you cocksucker believe that What's your problem? What's this going for? Uh, I had just a little trouble there, you don't never mind. What'd I tell you? <laughs> oh, you idiot, somebody, man. Um, maybe, maybe I can go home after this?
Eyes up! We got company! Give me a hand! You killed him. You should kill all of them. Every last one. Get out of here. Now. Spread the word. Any woman needing help should go to the pierced heart. Thank... thank you. Don't you see? We're already gone. Oh, my God. They... They were going to... Once you're out of here, go see Cassandra at the Pierced Heart. She'll help you. Excuse yourself. Brother, brother, calm down. You have to use a lighter touch is all. Well, what am I supposed to do? To Fucking some... animal acts like I'm the one that's got him hooked on Skag. Don't call for you beating on him. Look, the one thing the old nigger who was running the holler had going for him. He kept his people in line and didn't rock the boat too much. Wish fucking Rich would do the same. Yeah, well, I ain't gonna bow and scrape to no nigga just to settle. Go. Huh? Dear listener, to another episode of Native Sun. I'm your host, Remy Duval. How y'all doing out there? 
because I'm doing just fine. Glad that Gwen is finally behind us, and I'm sure you are as well. So, what's going on in your world this weekend, dear listener? I have my Saturday night all planned out. I'm going to put on a nice suit, because you know old Remy has to go out looking sharp. I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, jury's still out on that one. You know, dear listener, I keep hearing about our boys coming back and not getting the warm welcome they deserve. They leave their home.